is making her comedy debut, loves living in Boulder, and is a caretaker. Is that caretaker? Caregiver. Caregiver at hospice. Please welcome Ann Dixon. alien born on the wrong planet. Woo! Yeah. Me too. I've never wanted kids. I've never wanted pets. I don't like to plant things. <laughs> but I'm good with hospice. <laughs> yep. I'll take care of you if you promise to die within six months. for a compassionate person afraid of commitment. <laughs> yeah. You know, compassion hasn't always come naturally to me. Like my friends have had to teach me how to hug properly. I used to give teepee hugs. <laughs> yeah. Now I stand up straight and people's heads land right in my boobs because I'm so tall. Yeah. And I have been so getting into it. It's like, mmm, rub a midnight lotion. Yeah. You know, I find misery entertaining. I do. You know, like in the World Cup, I totally got into this slow motion replay of a Brazilian man crying, one giant tear slowly rolling down his cheek. <laughs> you know, the only thing more entertaining for mis than misery for me is misery in slow motion. <laughs> a family of green thumbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, uh, they just can't understand why I don't love to garden. Oh, and just a few tomato plants. It's so easy. I finally had to put it to them straight. Guys, I prefer to watch things die than to watch things grow. Yeah. Not a great parenting trait. <laughs> restaurant the other day here in Boulder, and right across the top of the menu was, we proudly serve locally roasted organic conscious coffee. Even the coffee is conscious in Boulder? Yeah. You know, I'm going to go to the 7-Eleven across the street and get myself a cup of Unlightened Joe. <laughs> town for 25 years and here's how you can tell. I got some amazing body work done the other day. Totally freed up a lot of energy. Later that day I ran into a friend and gave her a big hug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but I was forgetting her daughter had lice. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm lying in bed that night and I feel the top of my scalp tingling and I think to myself, is that lice? Or is my crown chakra opening up? 